Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us. Let's all bow down, raise our kundalini and put ourselves into bandhan. Shri Ganesha, please be kind and merciful and forgiving that you manifest within ourselves. Let all these hypocritical things, all these conditionings and all these wrong ideas we have or all the wrong life we have had just disappear like thin air 
and let the beautiful moonlight of your soothing qualities of innocence be manifested through us. Jai So um, we can start by placing the right hand on our left Swadhisthana Chakra and just let it rest there gently for a few moments. Taking our attention to Sarasrara, we can say the following affirmations. By your grace, I am the pure knowledge, technique of the divine that acts. Shumataji, by your grace, I am the pure knowledge and technique of the divine that acts. Taking the right hand back to the left. Now take the left hand, placing it on the area of right Swadhisthana. Again, just letting it rest gently as we take our attention back to Sarasraya and repeat the following affirmation. I do nothing. Verily, you are the doer and you are the enjoyer. Shumataji, I do nothing. Verily, you are the doer and you are the enjoyer. Placing the left hand back onto the lap. We can now place the right hand on the center Swadhisthana. Again, just letting it rest there gently for a couple of minutes. Attention up to Sarasrara, you can say the following affirmation. Shumataji, by your grace, please give me pure knowledge. Shumataji, 
pure grace. Please give me pure knowledge. raise a few strands of kundalini to the top of your head. Just repeat it very slowly a couple of times. And then you can place the hand back onto the lap and we'll sit quietly for a few moments. been the month of warning somehow uh, because certain things have been seeing in people how it happens and how people get into problems how our inner being is disturbed and why sometimes Sahaja Yoga fails within you One must understand the dangers we face as human beings. No doubt you are the highest of this creation, no doubt. For you this universe was created, for you this earth was created, no doubt. And today you are at a situation where you have to get out of this illusion. The time has come. Everything is right. But on a tree, if you notice, the most delicate stain is that of a flower. Flower is the most delicate thing. The roots are tough, extremely tough. They penetrate through the land, hardest possible land. They go through different rocks and find their ways. But when it comes to the flower stage, it's a very, very delicate stage, though the whole creation just waits for that time. The whole tree works it up. And the tree creates that beautiful flower. It's waiting for that time, that blossom time, when the flowers have to become the fruit. Now that is the time, that precarious time, that beautiful time, that fantastic dynamic time is here. But we do not know how delicate it is. And that's how we really play too much with ourselves. Before realization, you have seen people who have come to me, who had terrible mental problems, who are mentally deranged people, absolutely epileptic and of serious type. They got cured, they got their realization, they settled back. You have seen people with cancer, with 
blood cancer, all kinds of physical troubles, they got their blessings, they got their realization, you are said to that. You have seen people from very false gurus who have damaged their being completely, who have been mesmerized, who have been absolutely mislaid and lynched and have been made into, you can say, just cabbages. Such people also came to Sahaja Yoga and thrived and prospered. But again, it's a flower stage, one must not forget. And that is the time one has to be very careful. At the blossom time only. Imagine the times are so precarious that the gardener has to worry that there should not be a hail storm. And all the satanic forces have worked in their fullest form, with their greatest strength, with all their tricks and methods to curb down the progress of this creation into its fruitful happening. At such precarious time, one has to be very aware of all the dangers that we can face. The greatest danger comes to people when after getting Realization also they do not have faith in Sahaja Yoga. It's the greatest danger because that's your anchorage, that's the way you are saved. Say if there's a boat which comes for your rescue and you are drowning and it rescues you, you see, you can feel it. Those who have not felt all right, but those who have felt it, you come up the boat and then you do not believe in the boat you do not have faith in both. That's the greatest danger you face. People have faith in all kinds of nonsense very easily. <coughs> but to believe that you have found the reality, to believe that you can be saved, is very difficult for people who are all the time drowned and are threatened and frightened because the habit is formed to be always drowned, harassed, haunted by fears. So that habit doesn't go and that comes over and you feel frightened and you lose faith in Sahaja Yoga. Whether you have faith in it or not, it works. It works on people who do not even have faith. Today only I received a very interesting letter from India and a man who is a, supposed to be something big there. He told me he read an advertisement about me that Mataji is going to give realization through Kundalini awakening and he just came just to make fun of the whole thing to the program. And there he said, he felt that I was just befooling people. It is not possible instead with uh, very skeptical ideas. But his Kundalini rose. And he felt the cool breeze. And he felt that calm and everything. He was amazed. I don't remember, he relates, that I came to you and he said, Mother, you are so kind. Despite the fact I came with this kind of idea, you gave me realization. Because Indians know what realization means. Here people even don't know that, so the situation is much worse. They, they know that Realization means cool breeze. It means you must get cool breeze flowing from you. They know it. You do not know that. So the situation becomes much worse here that the faith in Sahaja Yoga goes. Now this is not blind faith. This is the faith. One is blind faith and another is the faith, means that you have now seen it and now you have faith in it. It's not like people, many, I have seen many people saying, I believe and I believe and I, I believe out of what? It's a thing that you have felt, experienced, you have had it and then you believe it. Of course you are not obliging anybody by having faith, that's one thing. It's the grace of God 
that has really been kind, extremely gracious to grant this to you. By that you do not oblige God or anybody, nor me. But despite that, it's time. What grace! What grace! What beauty! What love! It happens. But this faith does not settle down. Now the reason for that are many, but it's a very dangerous thing. You can rationalize it. I've seen people who go away, then again come back, and they said, "Mother, we are sorry. I mean, we were, we just doubted you, went away. This that I started thinking about it, and I spoiled it, and I lost it, and I said, oh, it was just temporary. I went away. Why not? Once you get realization, settle down with it for a while." Why not see for yourself what it is? All the gurus who take money and have made a money-making proposition out of God, which is absolutely against God, anti-Christ and anti-all that is divine, people stick on to them much more, like leeches. One thing, of course, there is that they mesmerize. There's no freedom. You cannot get out of them. One thing, I agree. But the second is the money. They get involved with them because they have paid for it and they have to stick on to it because they have paid for it. And so many people have told me, Mother, you better take money from everybody who comes in and they will stick on. I mean, this is going too far. I have too much respect for humanity. I respect you too much. I do not think you could be that low. I cannot think. And those who are that low cannot get realization also, perhaps. Maybe if you get it, it's not worth it. We do not light lamps in paper bags, do we? People have to be of some calibre to get realization. But the faith, faith in Sahaja Yoga, is the only way you can rise and understand and move and grow with it. The faith has to be so great that nothing should disturb you. Look at these flowers sometimes, how delicate they are. And it rains, and sometimes it's too sunny, especially in London. You don't know what sort of a climate it is. It's a funny climate, absolutely, with the flowers. They stand up to that, because they have faith in the tree on which they are born. That's the strength-giving thing. And to know it fully, so that you love it more and more and imbibe within you more, is the only way you can really establish yourself firmly into the strength of the Divine Power. The understanding of Sahaja Yoga is not mental. I told you yesterday, it's not mental understanding. You cannot understand it through brains. If you try to understand it through brains, you get away from it, because you cannot explain how it works out. It's a miraculous thing, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. God is a mystery for man, will remain a mystery to a point, but he can become his power, he can become an instrument of his power. So you cannot comprehend the complete thing through your brains. You cannot even comprehend a little bit through it, through your brains. Only thing is when you see it happening, you see it working out. The effects of that experience which are put on your brain, that gives you faith. How do you have faith in a man? Say, there is a man who is very astute, straightforward. You give him ten pounds, 
he spends nine pounds, three pence, returns the rest to you. Then you give some more money. Again he does the same way, he returns all the money that is due. By mistake he forgets, he again comes and says, this is it. So you develop that faith in him. It has not come out of your intellectual understanding of the man. A man may be very good. Maybe a very great cheat could be a very fine gentleman. Very well dressed, mostly. I've seen uh, sometimes when I see these pictures where they show the bank robbery, especially the gentleman is absolutely top top. He wears beautiful lined dresses, you see, walks with an umbrella straight forward, and he's absolutely, uh, you can see his face, and I mean, he's chiseled completely. It's beautiful figure and extremely innocent face, and all that he puts it up very well. That's why he can be fooled. He can be fooled people very well and he can get things out of that. But in Sahaja Yoga, when you start feeling it, seeing it, how it works, when you saw this man seeing the way he works, you have no faith in him anymore. You start seeing how Sahaja Yoga works and then you have faith in And that is faith, that is not reasoning. Actually by reasoning you have achieved nothing so far if you see it properly. For example, see all scientific laws. We are discovered, we are seen, we are felt. Even if something comes into my mind by thinking, it could be just an imagination and listen until I see it works. Anything that does not work out doesn't become a law for us. So for Sahaja Yoga you have to see it, but not with the idea that let me see if it works or not. That's not the way, but just the seeing of it and understanding it. If you sit down and reason out, Sahaja Yoga will be lost in wilderness, absolutely. But how it works? I'll give you a very simple example. We have got the gentleman here. He wrote a thesis. I don't know how many years he was working with it. He could not get through it. He had no, he had not even make a bond out of it. It's a very material style of understanding, but still, so he came to me and said, Mother, now I leave it at you, at your feet and I surrender it to you. Do whatever you please. So I looked at it. He said, Are you not going to read it? I said, No need to read. I just put a little bandhan on it, put my hand there, finished. That's all. That's all I did. But next day he was a doctor. He was. How it happens? Today we received another letter from Portugal. There was one fellow whom we had sent all the articles and everything, but he had certain problems with his sister and mother and all that, so he didn't want to do much of Sahaja Yoga. And there was another one who wanted to do it. And he writes to me saying that, I received everything, I don't know, he does not know my address. How it has come to me, I don't know. Who has dropped it in my house, I do not know. How it has come to me, the address was of that fellow. And that gentleman who has this address does not know his address. It's that mysterious. There are angels. God has many hands, many eyes. He's God Almighty. He's very powerful. So,
Shemeshji, for all your kindness, compassion, love and care. Thank you for guiding us each and every day. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to be in meditation together. Thank you for blessing us with self-realization. Thank you Shemeshji for everything. We say the third verse of the three great mantras. Om Tvame Vasatshat Shri Kalki Satshat 
Shri Sahasra Swamini Moksha Pradayini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Thank you everyone for being part of our program this morning. When you're ready, please bow down to Shramataji, raise your Kundalini and put yourself into Bandhan. Have an absolutely wonderful day everybody. Jai Shramataji.